So within the latest patch, which should be applied uh, to your game by now, Gearbox changed a few weapons and the way they work. Today we test the main weapon which received a nerf, that being the lob. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll be going to have a BR3 video. If you do enjoy leaving a like, it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the lob went from the gutter to being one of the best or the best and most powerful weapon in this game. They applied some serious changes to it a while back now and these changes we can see on screen now. They increased its magazine size, they greatly increased damage per tick and it went from firing one projectile or orb to firing three. And the outcome was crazy people. The weapon became, like I said, one of the most powerful in the game and it was capable of making every encounter the game threw at you a walk in the park. And in reality, it was the start of many people thinking Gearbox had changed their ways about how they nerf items and our favourite items going forward. But even with this way of thinking, we still, well many of us still thought it was just a little bit too powerful of a weapon. Let's not lie, the lob was OP. Today with the April 2nd 2020 patch, they nerfed the weapon, changing its core mechanics as follows. Increased fire rate and reduced projectiles back down to 1 from 3. So projectile wise we only get one now, like originally. But we can see we keep that weapon's base damage, the magazine size, and we also get an increased weapon fire rate. Whereas before this patch it was at a stat value of 4.75 roughly, but now it's dropped down to 1.7 which is an increase of 35%. So it fires 35% quicker than what it did before people, and you definitely feel that. Now as for its damage, it's still a mighty weapon, it's still stupid powerful, but taking away those two orbs which do that extra tick damage does indeed drop its damage significantly, definitely in terms of maximum damage output. But because it deals so much damage via that one ticking orb people, the damage really isn't that noticeable until you fight off against those bigger bosses in which you still do major damage anyway. So in reality guys, it has in reality received a damage nerf, but it's still a great great weapon and still one of the most powerful in the game without a doubt. And because of that increased fire rate it's almost easier to use and because you can shoot quicker now you can still lay off that orb ticking damage almost as quick as before. You know what, I actually think I prefer the weapon the way it is right now, as crazy as that seems. In my opinion it makes you a better fit. The nerf I ain't mad about though because we are still left with an amazing weapon and in reality a slight nerf was needed. What Gearbox have done here is buff at the same time to compensate that reduced damage via taking away two of the three orbs. Now the major damage output drawback you will notice if you use skills such as Sane's uh, playing dirty skill where the first five shots after a kill have a chance to double up those shots. Pre-patch those three orbs will turn into six orbs dealing incredible damage. Now that one orb will turn to two and that's where you would have seen a crazy difference. But all in all guys, I don't think this nerf is as much as a nerf as we first thought. It's nothing like what they did to the flacker, that thing is just, I don't even know what happened to that thing. It's miles, miles ahead of that for sure. So yes people, the lob is still a monster of a weapon and still one of the best this game offers. Now if you don't know, this lob is a world drop but it's dedicated boss drop is Grave Ward. So if you want to farm for this thing, that's where you get it. So yeah guys, my thoughts on the lob post patch. It's still a great great weapon, it's increased fire rate in reality kind of makes up for the reduced orbs it fires, taking it down from 3 to 1 as it was originally. I mean you can fire that quick now you can almost spawn 3 orbs via shooting, just with a slight delay between each. Before this patch that was not possible at all, you could fire nowhere near this quick and like I said you see that with that 35% fire rate increase and it's really noticeable. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.